We have created a template drawing for a multi burner application using the LME7. This drawing can be found in the video description below. This template can start as a reference drawing for your application. In this example, we have 10 burners, one shutoff valve at each burner with proof of closure. This gives us the one down, one out scenario. One shutoff valve on the main gas train with proof of closure. One external purge timer. Two control relays per burner. One alarm time delay relay. And one main valve time delay relay. The LME7 that we chose here is the LME71.112A1 PKG. We chose this model because we are not doing the purge at the LME7. This model is good for pulse firing because it is our fastest model to light the burner. Let's start with the power coming in. Here we have the permissive string that is common to the system. Low and high gas pressure switch, proof of closure on the main, alarm timer that opens when a proof of closure at the burner is not operating properly, and a placeholder for any other interlocks common to the system, high temperature limit, conveyor running, etc. Power comes down through the normally closed main valve timer contact to power the purge timer. CR11 through CR20 are relays for when the burners are on. Once purge is complete, power goes to the main valve, energize main valve timer relay, latch around the main proof of closure, and start the LME7 ignition sequence on all burners. As the burners turn on, CR11 through CR20 will close. Then the main valve timer will open and any of the burners being on keeps the, bird, the purge timer energized. In the event that any of the LME7s go into alarm, the proof of closure has to be made on that burner to keep the rest of the system going. We accomplish this with a control relay on each proof of closure and alarm timer relay. When the valve is shut and the proof of closure is working properly, CR contact, CR10 contacts open, which prevent the alarm output on the LME7 from energizing the alarm timer relay. If the proof of closure is not working properly, the alarm timer relay is energized and the purge permissive string will be lost, shutting down the system. We, we repeat this logic through CR1 to CR10 in this 10 burner example. If you have a multi burner application, contact your SCC representative and we will customize your solution. Thanks for watching and have a safe day.